loved him then, you love him now. Please put your hands together for Mr. Paul Barry. Thank you very much, and hello, I'm Paul Birding, and welcome to the show. Well, what a difference a year makes. Yeah, studio, <laughs> nice new suit. <laughs> yeah, and also, no buzzers. <laughs> this is us. And also, a fantastic audience! <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Yeah, so what a year it's been. We've had the general election, cutbacks, Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> Didn't win, never mind. And, um, <laughs> but also, the good news story of this year, of course, is that Prince William and Kate are getting married! <laughs> yeah, a spokesperson from the royal family said... Yes, it's... Uh, yes. <laughs> it's going to be a tremendous celebration, yes. <laughs> yes, and everybody's going to get an extra day off work. <laughs> but that'll make a difference to Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, wouldn't it? <laughs> And, of course, we had the World Cup in South Africa. And it, I think it was a little bit ruined by the Vuvuzelas. <laughs> but in this country, you should be used to these sort of sounds on our TV screens. We've had Joe Pasquale for years. Because <laughs> 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 Big Brother's finally finished! Yay! But spare a thought, there's somebody who might be a little bit upset about that. Day 140. <laughs> in the Newcastle Job Centre. <laughs> and I'm up for eviction from my own house. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I think you should be too picky. You should do that voiceover, man. You should do other jobs, you know, in case you can't get one in TV, like... Main the Gap. <laughs> Stun clear of the claws and doors. <laughs> and eyes down for a full house. <laughs> Three and four, 34. <laughs> and now it's time for some more biz news. Yes, indeed it is! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, George Michael hit the headlines for hitting a wall outside Snappy Snaps. Yes, the police got photographic evidence and got him transferred to a mouse mat and a nice coffee mug. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but he was in jail for four long weeks. Yes, four long weeks. And then he came out of prison he said he was going to go straight. <laughs> I believe that when I see it. <laughs> and, of course, Andrew Lloyd Webber, my good friend, otherwise known as Lord, <laughs> has given us a new version of Phantom of the Opera. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, you know the story. It's a hideously disfigured man going around theatres. Where does he get his ideas from? <laughs> <laughs> One of the big news stories, of course, was, unfortunately, the oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico. And, uh, you know, BP tried to block it up with concrete and stuff like that, and it took ages. I think what they should have done is use one of our very own brilliant inventors in this country. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> They could have used our oil blocker matic. <laughs> we could have blocked it up with Wensleydale. <laughs> 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 Cracking pipes, Grommy. 